All right, what else we got here? Are we up to CAG bag? I think we are. Um, oh, we sort of talked about this one before, I guess. At Berserker85 writes in and says, with Days Gone and Rage 2 being panned for not being artistic masterpieces, do you think it's bad for a AAA video game to just be a fun video game? No, that's all I think. I think the perfect example of that that I think we could all agree on is Wildlands. Wildlands is not a critically praised game by any sense. It has a, and I think its Metacritic score is like a seventy-two or something. What like Ghost that. Recon? Yeah. Really? Yeah, that that's game was not well reviewed. Ghost Recon Wildlands Metacritic. Let's get to the bottom of this immediately. Sixty-nine percent. Okay. Oh no, seventy-six percent for Xbox. Okay. Seventy-six on Xbox. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's not a it's not a incredibly high you know it's it's not nines across the board, right? And I think it's one of the best games I've played. And in- I wonder how much of that though is the post launch uh, support for that game. Though. I I don't know. Maybe be, well, we didn't play that game. That, much that game later changed after, a lot. Though. We played it like three months after it came out. So now maybe no, we were way late. Yeah, to it. we played it like ten months later. But right, like I I think that game probably changed a lot did it though I, like the single player aspect of it i i think yes. the multiplayer changed a lot but i don't think the single player game changed that there much. were like there were huge updates yeah updates to that game Big like time. i remember like getting like 60 gig updates for that game <sighs> i don't well i didn't but I, I don't know that for sure but i i just don't i don't know what that game was at launch compared to what it was I know, all I know is that game's a great game and it's a lot of mm-hmm. fun that was poorly reviewed that's that was <laughs> so so I stand by my statement. Yeah, yeah. No, that I, is I that, that, that is a game that is a lot of fun. I hope they don't ruin it with the sequel. <laughs> I've already heard rumors that there's going to be no pausing. So I, I, I thought true. I saw too that there's not um, AI teammates. As no, well. I heard I, that they said in the launch thing that you could play solo or with four people. That they're not getting rid of that. But are so, are you are you having AI teammates? I think so. I'm like ninety percent sure you are. I but but I think it it may be an always online situation with no pausing because it has that new social hub. Yeah. So did don't, we answer? Don't his, screw this up. Don't screw it up. Did we answer Berserker's question? I think so. Okay. It's fine to just be a fun video game. I I think I haven't played Days Gone, but from your descriptions of it, Cheapy, it seems like it's it's okay. Yeah, it's not for. I mean. It respects your time enough in other ways, like, you know, with checkpoints and such. Mm-hmm. So it's not, I don't, I haven't found it too frustrating, certainly, except for, you know, some little small quality of life issues. Uh, I didn't really understand this question, but this is from Aries04. And he asks, can Wombat go over his coffee drinking routine for work again? I remember him talking about it along with stackers. But I can't recall the exact episode. Just got a new job and would really appreciate the advice. Thanks. I don't even know what stackers are. What, what are uh, we even talking about here? I think he's talking about. But I I may have brought up my. This was when I was in college. I was doing that. Uh, so back when we were in college, there was, and I think the product still exists. Stacker two. Oh, there, it's like a fucking weight loss drug or something. Yeah, it's a weight loss drug. Oh, you were abusing weight loss drugs? Yes, when I was in college. And this is back when they <laughs> had ephedra in it, which is now illegal. I would wake up in the morning. I would have a giant like tin, you know, like a, like a water bottle, like a big metal uh-huh. thermos. Uh-huh. Thermos, there's a word for it. Yeah, yeah. A thermos full of coffee. <laughs> uh-huh. And I would take that with two ephedra laced stack or two pills okay i would drink the whole thing of coffee black Uh with the two pills Uh then i would get to work and i would make a pot of coffee and then i would drink the pot of coffee take two more pills wait what how old were you i was 20 this is probably from the ages of 20 to 22 so your senior year in college and and i was basically you on speed wow i was working 40 hours a week i was going to to school three hours every night wow so and and weekends and i would still go to parties on friday nights after after class and saturday nights wow i think i slept like two hours a night wow 
And I weighed, I think, 145 pounds. <laughs> the speed diet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was in great shape. I should also throw in, I was working out then, too. So oh, I was my in good- God. So I would work out for an hour. Are there any pictures from this era? Not, not many. I mean, it was before that time. But, yeah, I was skinny and a little hyper. <laughs> before but- the time of pictures? You'd, this is before it was before phones. He can were everywhere. find them. He means what he means to say he can get them, but he doesn't have easy access to them. He needs yeah, to go there, probably to his parents' like, house or something and take pictures. Yeah, of not this. even because I wasn't living at home, so my parents don't have any pictures. It's I was in school. I didn't go back home in the summer. That during that time frame, I was staying in school all year round. It was I was not healthy, and I do not recommend it to anyone. I mean, obviously, it didn't last very long, which is a good thing, mainly because Stacker 2s are the drug is illegal now because right. it was killing football players. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah. So don't do that. Although maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea if I lost some weight. <laughs> nah, there's other ways to do that. Uh, you, you don't think I should be doing uh, amphetamines to lose weight again? Now I, mean, I don't I want just... to be judgy, but it seems like. Now I have idea. three cups of coffee a day. Okay. That's the new routine. <laughs> I wake up, I have a cup of coffee, I go to work, I have two more. That's the basics. That's it. That's the story in a nutshell. Hmm. All right. Pretty good story. Yep. <laughs> I would recommend to our listener to not copy that. Yeah, don't do, don't yeah. do that. Maybe, three cups of coffee is probably- How about a, like a latte and just call it that? Call it a day. I don't know. Three cups of coffee is good for you. Okay. Shit All right. like a goose. No. That's a... Uh... I think we're good. It's got <laughs> enough shit. Um, I don't need to read this last one. Well, no. I do need to give a shout out, though, to Long Island Retro because we're going to be doing a show there this summer. Hooray. So uh, go to uh, liretro.com. It's August 10th and 11th in fabulous Garden City, Long Island. Home of... The birthplace of aviation. Shipwreck. Yes. You like aviation. I, I do. That's why you're I, coming. I got out of that, but yes. You still like it. I still like probably it. probably like it more now. Sure. Yeah, I don't have to worry about it anymore. Now you hate pizza. <laughs> it's not true. Oh, good. That would be bad. You don't want a job that's going to make you hate pizza. Be bad. All right, so go to liretro.com and come see us. It's fun. Maybe I can buy you can watch me buy Wombat an entire collection of Fallout <laughs> orbs for ten dollars. <laughs> complete set. Yep. And just hand me the bag. You go, I got these for you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Congratulations on owning a complete set of Fallout orbs. Thanks. <laughs> hmm.